Sports with Matt Berean. With a return to St. Louis looming today marks Yadier Molina's final rehab appearance in Springfield. Most reports anticipate he'll be back with the Major League Birds in time for their series in Kansas City this week. Before that, though, one final game at Hammond. So, Keefe at catcher, Molina relegated to designated hitter. But before Molina could even hit, Dylan Carlson led off, and he led off in style. Home run number 20 for him this year on a solo shot over the jury ad and right puts the Birds up 1 0. Next to the plate, Yadier Molina, but he did not have the same luck. Instead, strikeout number one of three on the day, he closes his Springfield account one for 12 with eight Ks total. Fourth inning cards down 2 1. Raider Escanio launches one to center field. The Travelers are going to get under the ball, but it bounces off the glove. Ruled as a double, don't ask me why. Two runs score to regain the lead, and a four run eighth locks it up for a 7 3 win for the Cardinals. For now, though, the Cards without Molina trying to sweep Pittsburgh and St. Louis. Bottom first, Paul Goldschmidt, home run number 26, a two run shot and a four for four a day. Cards tied at two. Now in the bottom of the fourth, 4 3 Pirates. Lane Thomas drops one in deep right, bounces it into the corner. A triple for Thomas scores Paul DeYoung and knocks us back at four. Sixth inning, Cards in trouble, down a pair. They turn to Junior Fernandez out of the bullpen. Started the year in single A, 18 games in Springfield. Strikes out his first batter on a full count in the majors. Two Ks total and two thirds of an inning of work, plus a souvenir ball to take home. But the Birds still needed runs. And in the seventh, the lane train provides them. Another recent Springfield alum with a grand slam off Kyle Crick puts the Cardinals on top 9 8, and they hold the lead the rest of the way to complete the sweep with an 11 9 win. Yeah, I had I'd found a few pitches off and put a pretty good swing on the, the slider he had just thrown. So I was like 3-2 count. He don't want to walk anybody, you know. And so it was just having the way it happened. It all turned out all right. When you made contact, did you know it was going to go? Yeah, I got it pretty good. Royals also in action, looking to split a series in Detroit and riding the long ball to do it too. Whit Merrifield leading off, and for the second time this series, he leads off the game with a home run. Royals up one nothing. Still the opening frame. Hunter Dozier says, "Sorry, Daniel Norris, you're gonna have a rough day." A solo shot of his own, two nothing Kansas City. Jump to the third. It's two one now. Jorge Soler, three home runs already this month. Let's make it four. A two-run bomb making it 4-1 Royals. Daniel Norris gets pulled down the eighth, 4-2. New pitcher, same result. Dozier with his third multi-home run game this road trip. Makes it 5-2. Same frame. Hip, hip. Jorge, two today, five in the month of August. The Royals with five home runs as they dominate 10-2 in Detroit. Now, it's good policy never to read too much in the preseason action, and an even better policy to save fantasy football drafts until after preseason has wrapped up. Even still, two chief rookies made quite the impression in yesterday's win that are worth examining. First up, wide receiver McCall Hardman, the second round pick from Georgia, tallied 31 yards and a touchdown in the win over Cincinnati. Afterwards, Hardman talked about the debut score and adapting to the faster game. Yeah, definitely. Whenever your numbers call, you know, you want to make the best of it. And um, when they called my number, I was like, yeah, I got to try to get in the end zone. And that happened, so I'm happy for it. I was good. Um, good to get my feet wet and to got to have a first game. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, just just got to keep working um, and get better every day. Yeah, you know, uh, at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's football, you know. The speed faster, but as long as you know you, you become, you prepare mentally, you, you'll be just fine. Um, that's, how, that's how I'm approaching the situation. Now, another standout rookie was running back Darwin Thompson, the sixth round pick from Utah State, rushed for 22, and he took this pass 29 yards to the house. He averaged 15 yards per catch as an Aggie, so definitely a dual threat back. Last night, Thompson talked touchdowns, hurdles, and playing bigger than his listed five foot eight. Uh, as, as things went on, it got a little easier, and then it, I got my, my, my groove, like my rhythm. And uh, see, I dropped the ball before that one, and that, that should have been a touchdown as well, but I dropped the ball, so I knew next time the ball came to me, I got to score. I was just feeling myself. I was feeling myself at that point. I said, I got to, I got to show what I can do. I mean, a lot of people look up to me and are inspired by me, so I got to keep proving myself and proving my work.
And while baseball and football are in season now, believe it or not, we got basketball too. The Drury Lady Panthers up in Canada for some international exhibition action. And it's nice to know the wins for them aren't unique to being stateside. Drury tops Carlton in Ottawa 69 62. Haley Distelkamp leading the way as she does so often 17 points, 13 rebounds, and four steals. Some other notable story lines from our first glimpse last year's go to sixth man Paige Robinson got the start today. She tallied 13 points and four assists. Mizzou transfer Kelsey Winfrey. Came off the bench in her first jury game for three points and a pair of rebounds. And lastly, freshman and Fairgrove native Alana Finley made quite the first impression, shooting six of eight for 14 points. That's it for sports. The news will be right back.